Just a few moments ago, we mentioned that Governor Rick Scott has issued a state of emergency for several counties, mm -hmm. including Palm Beach, Martin, St. Lucie, and Okeechobee. Channel 5's John Shaman is at the St. Lucie Lock with more on what this state of emergency means after freshwater discharges from Lake O have been paused. The view over Lake Okeechobee. I mean, it, it's, it's off the chart worse. It's horrible. Former Sewell's Point Mayor Jackie Thurlow Lippish is behind the camera. Geometric figures of algae that had been blown by the wind from one side of the lake to the other. It was very depressing. But on Monday, this blue-green algae was not passing through the St. Lucie Lock as the Army Corps of Engineers conducts a system-wide review. We analyze this stuff constantly. What's changed uh, over the past 24 hours is just the level of interest. Beyond local protests, politicians on the state and federal levels have reached out to the core. And they are recognizing for the first time that releases from Lake Okeechobee aren't just a hazard, they are a health issue. The more we're all on the same page and, and have one voice, I think the more successful we'll be. Martin County Ecosystem Manager John Mayle says the governor's emergency order should help. We expect that um, it would make available to us state resources, um, it, that it would also uh, perhaps give us some leeway in how we might mitigate algae. John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5. And the governor also declaring a state of emergency for the Caloosahatchee River in Lee County as well. This is what the governor saw today when he toured that river earlier in the day. This is video showing the blue-green algae, the buildup. This is at the Cape Coral Yacht Club right there on the river. Trust WPT. Now we saw some heavy rain on the radar.